hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix the issue with AMD GPU whenever you launch the battlefield you got the error detected AMD Raidon driver version 0, 0.0.0 .0 .0. please update your drivers let's fix it guys the first solution is to roll back drivers to do this you just need to right click on the start icon and select device manager Expand the display adapter section, right click on the AMD graphics card driver, select update driver, select browse my computer for drivers and select let me pick from available drivers on my computer. In here you can able to see the date of the driver next to the driver name or here. This is the latest driver you have problem with. You just need to select the older driver guys and then select next and this will install the older stable driver for your AMD GPU and hopefully your issue has been resolved guys if you still having issue then let's move on to the second solution guys the second solution is to update drivers manually to do this you just need to check my video description for this link used in my video just click on the link and it will be automatically downloads up after getting download this tool wu show hide select it and open the tool and select next select hide updates in here if you have any updates recording to the gpu is available you just need to check mark that guys like this you just need to check mark that particular option and select next and this will hide your graphics card GPU update and after doing this you just need to check my video description for this link used in my video you just need to scroll down this is the official AMD page in here you just need to select your product from the list guys you just need to select it and after selecting it you just need to select submit depending on what type of windows you just need to expand it and scroll down you just need to make sure to download the recommended update guys search the download option and download it after getting download done you just need to install the driver and after installing the driver you just need to go ahead and restart your pc after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not I hope this video helped you guys. If the video helped you, don't forget to leave a like guys. You can also subscribe me and support me guys. Thank you.